Hi, in this video we'll talk about some interesting story in the history about the unit conversion. Before we start, I would like to show you a meme. So let's take a look together. Do you understand what it means? <laughs> All right, can you believe the first story that we are sharing is about NASA? Yes, the NASA that shoot rockets to the space. In 1999, NASA actually lost a lot of budget money uh, because of a very simple mistake. So the basically the mistake is like what we said in the previous video, the unit system. Uh, two teams, one used the metric system, the other one used the imperial system. The company Lockheed Martin is a very famous company in US that make military weapons and also space exploration tool. So they work with NASA to provide some uh, frosted data. However, it is in the English unit, which is the former uh, unit for the imperial system. And more precisely, in terms of the faster force, it is in pounds uh, to NASA. However, for NASA, because obviously they, uh, they will have a team of different scientists from the world, so obviously they will follow the tradition on using uh, the metric system, which is Newtons for the force. So there is a difference between pounds and Newtons. Let me give you a simple qu uh, question. If the rocket has to be having a 10 million pounds of thrust. However, it is mistaken the thrust in Newton instead. How much in pounds would the thrust be in terms of the error? So here is a conversion between these two for you. So let me give you some time, try to work out the answer. We'll show you the answers later on. A few moments later. All right, so here's the answer. Since we mistook the 10 million force in Newton instead, then we have to calculate it and convert it to pounds. So that will be 2.2 uh, million of pounds. So instead of having 10 million of pounds, you can see we are missing about 78% uh, of it. That is seriously a lot. And in fact, when the rocket was launching, some for some reason, no one actually noticed there is a problem with that. So eventually the weather satellite crashed onto the Mars because of the insufficient uh, frost. And by that time, they didn't know this is the reason. Uh, they thought it is something to do with the uh, atmosphere of the Mars. But in fact, it is just simply because of this simple, careless mistake. <laughs> Guess what? The other one is also a really big company, and that is Disneyland. In 2004, Tokyo Disneyland, there is a roller coaster called Space Mountain, derailed. Very horrible. I think uh, it shouldn't be any accident because there shouldn't be any passenger there, luckily. Uh, but the thing is, this is because of, again, the unit uh, were using English, that is to known as uh, the Imperial system to the metric system later on. So there is a change of the master plan over the years when they were doing it. However, when they order the boats, uh, they somehow use the old unit, that is the English specification instead of the metric specification. And that, of course, with a different size, then the whole thing will be a different story. So let's say the boat is ordered with the original design as in 1.25 inches in the English unit. But now, uh, when people try to convert into cm centimeters, they didn't change the number properly. They just keep it as 1.25 cm simply. So let me ask you, can you tell me and calculate how many millimeters it will be of the difference for the boat? Pause the video, do the calculation, and I will show you the answer later. A few moments later. All right, so one inch actually is 2.54 cm. So if you convert, uh, 1.25 inches 
to millimeters, that will be 31.75 millimeters. So if you compare that with 1.25, that is 12.5 millimeters, then you have a difference of 19.25, not even half of it. The last story that I would like to share is also the worst out of all because that may affect many, many lives and families. It's a flight from Air Canada 143 on 1983. Uh, during its flight halfway through, it ran completely out of fuel. The misunderstanding is extremely terrible. All right, the pilot calculated a fuel requirement that is two to 300 kilograms but then in the tanks, the fuel were actually 7,682 liters. The worst thing is these are not even the same dimension of unit. Kg is a unit of mass. Liter is a unit of volume. So I don't know why they can make such a mistake. So let's say one liter of jet fuel has a mass of 0 0.803 kilograms. So somehow I basically given you the density already. So how much fuel is it needed to add for the rest of the trip then? Pause the video, do your calculation, and I'll show you the answers again. A few moments later. All right, so the answer is actually quite simple. You just have to multiply with the number I gave you, then you can get the amount of the fuel in kg, and you can minus the ideal mass of fuel uh, then you can get the number that is 16131 kg so if your answer is in mass kg this will be your answer if you want to convert it back to volume in liter then you simply just have to divide 0 0.803 then you can get 20,000 liters of jet fuel below here are the paragraphs explaining how they make such a mistake at the first place so if you are interested to know more about this pause the video and you can read that I'll also include a link of the Wikipedia about this incident in the description below. Alright, so I hope you understand the importance of getting the units right and why we would need to keep it consistent for all the scientists, engineers, basically every single person in the world using the same system because that could be a disaster. If you know any other incident, accident that is even worse than that three that I presented to you, leave a comment in the section below and we'll take a look at it.